Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Facebook ad sequencing. Now this is a very interesting concept and um, I'm going to try to explain this as simple as possible because um, this is one of the best method or strategy when it comes to trying to reach out a new audience and um, you know promoting your brand but your end goal is to convert them into a customer or making them to sign up for a product or service. And uh, with Facebook ad sequencing, uh, you are able to decrease your cost per acquisition and basically you are able to um, hit your mark when it comes to getting more leads and uh, selling more, uh, whether it's an e-commerce store or you know increasing your return on ad spend. Uh, so let's you know get into the details and talk about some of the challenges that advertisers pay, advertisers face without sequencing. Now, generally, when when people run ads, they they run ad campaigns and they target a broad audience, and it's going to be just one single ad, one single campaign, and they're going to reach out to a wide audience, and most of them are new; they have never heard about your brand, and when they see your ad your click-through rate is low, they might just not click on it, or even if they click on it, they're not gonna take action. The reason being, you're just simply reaching out to a new cold audience who is just not ready to buy. The second thing is, brands get only one shot at getting prospects' attention. What I mean is, when you run campaigns and when you have only one phase, when you have just one option or when you have just one shot, in creating that ad and reaching to your audience, you get very little attention span from your prospects. If they like the ad, they're gonna click up, click on it. But if they don't like the landing page or if they don't trust the brand, they're not gonna take an action. So that's one of the challenge. Brands only get one shot at getting prospects attention. The third reason is you are expecting results from a cold audience. It's, it's pretty hard to expect someone to click on your ad, then go to your website, fill out a form or, you know, view the product page and then add that product page to the cart and then provide their payment details and finally make that purchase. That's a lot to ask from a one single ad. So you are basically expecting results from a cold audience. Ultimately what happens is your, your conversion rate is going to be low and it's not going to be aligned with the sales funnel and finally your campaign performance is going to be poor. So these are some of the challenges that brands usually face when it comes to you know Facebook advertising and and to be honest you know it's not just Facebook it's it, these are some of the challenges that any brands face uh, when it comes to Facebook, Google, YouTube or Bing advertising. So Let's talk about you know what exactly is Facebook ad sequencing or ad sequencing so that you can apply this concept whether it's Google ads, YouTube ads or any other ads. Okay, with ad sequencing you are basically breaking down your ads into multiple phases and you're targeting people based on where they are in their buyer's journey. So the first phase is the attract phase and Basically what you want to do is you want to use a video ad because they tend to perform much better nowadays because LinkedIn is liking video ads a lot. Facebook has always been focusing on videos. Um, LinkedIn has joined the bandwagon. So I would say use video ads but if you don't have a video choose the best performing post and use that creative format or that creative content for your attract stage and basically your brand objective or your marketing objective is going to be reach branding and engagement because when people watch your video and when they interact with your content Facebook is going to keep a track of who those people are and how they are interacting with your video and I'm going to give you an example a practical demo of how you can build those audiences but basically my, my point is when you use a video ad, Facebook will be able to build a custom audience of all the people who watched at least like 3, te three seconds or 10 seconds or 25% of your video. So definitely make sure to use video ads. 
then what you do is you create another ad in a different ad set and your objective is going to be lead generation because you want to make sure that they they give their email address right so create lead ads or you can use ads with proper call to action button that takes them to a landing page with a form or you can even use a lead ad so that it will you know quicken or fasten the conversion process and basically the audience that you're going to target in the convert stage is going to be all the people who interacted with your video ads in the attract stage and that's how you are able to make sure that you're only targeting people who are a little bit more warm who are a little bit more interested in your brand because the, at this stage the audience that you're going to target it's going to be pretty wide open it's going to be all the cold audience they don't know about your brand uh, but then at this stage you're only targeting people who are interacting with your attract stage video ads so the chances of them giving their email address is going to be much higher now the final stage is going to be closing stage this is where you want those people to buy a product to convert into a customer and basically you know you want to acquire them so you can use messenger ads which is fantastic because you can show ads to all the people who have interacted with your convert stage ads um and you can ask them to click to message message which is a fantastic way to you know put them in touch with a sales rep um you can show them you know dynamic uh, product catalog sales ad which will take them to an e-commerce store where they can buy a product and again you are making them to buy a product or converting them into a customer and that's how you know you are making sure that you're only reaching people who are warm enough so that they will actually buy a product so that's how you know ad sequencing uh, works and you can utilize them to split your you know campaign into multi phase and target people based on where they are in their buyer's journey um so as i mentioned earlier why you need to sequence your ads some of the advantages are it increases your conversion rate because you are basically serving ad to warm audience depending on you know where they are in their buyer's journey it aligns with natural style of buying process like think about this like let's say you want something uh from amazon I would bet that you would at least go once or twice to Amazon. You might read, uh, you might like a product, and then you will you will simply you know skim through the product page, and then you will like, hey, let's see if I find another product or another uh, you know brand selling similar product for a cheaper price. You might even do that. If not, what you can do is you can you will just go and read the reviews, right? And basically, what I'm trying to say is. uh um, the first step is you don't know about their product the next stage is you try to research about the product the third stage is you're confident about the product and then you are ready to buy so it requires at least three touch points so why not do that for your ads if you know that you yourself are going to buy a product only after trusting that brand only after having like one or two touch points you can expect the same kind of reaction with your customers so it aligns with the natural style of buying process and that's why you should sequence your ads the next thing is it's going to increase your brand trust and brand lift because you are showing ads to only people who are interacting with your content so naturally you are slowly building that trust factor you're going to get score higher and higher and you are increasing your brand lift and only when you know that you know okay you you have a a nice chunk of audience that has interacted with you know all those stages you are only then going to show an ad where you are asking them to buy your product so uh, naturally what happens is you are decreasing your cost per acquisition by at least half because now you are asking those warm audience to take that action So those are some of the advantages of why you need to sequence your ads. Um and um again I I took this photo from HubSpot and this is just a handy reference where how they use inbound methodology and 
they convert or they uh, you know divide their audience into four stages attract convert close and delight and and you know basically you boost your best performing content at this stage then in the middle stage you convert leads with facebook lead ads and then in the final stage you 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 can even you know uh, expand it to a lookalike audience so that you can scale up your business. So that's just a quick example. Um, and I mentioned earlier about how you can implement this uh, in your Facebook ad campaign. Well, you can do that using the engagement um, option. So uh, let's take an, an, an example of how you can utilize this and how you can you know, structure your campaign in your Facebook ads. So basically uh, what you can do is you can um uh, log into your facebook business manager and then click on audiences and what you want to do is you want to build an audience out of video engagement so i have created this audience out of all the people who have watched at least three seconds um of my this video so basically what i did is i clicked on create audience click on clicked on custom audience and then it's going to give you this option um, so you can choose, you know, either three second or you can choose 10 second, but then I would recommend, you know, choosing three second and then uh, you are, uh, you, you can, you know, choose your, um, you can choose your video. Basically you select your Facebook page and then, um, you can choose your best performing video over here. So I've selected my video over here and then hit confirm. And then what happens is you can choose your number of days and then hit create audience and basically what facebook will do is it's going to build an audience out of all the people who watched at least three seconds of that particular video now that's how you um you use this audience for your second stage so what you can do is the next time when you create an, an ad set you go you're going to choose this audience for your let me go back to my presentation you're gonna choose, you know, the three second audience to show an ad um, when you are uh, trying to get leads. I hope that makes sense. So your first stage is just using a video and um, pushing that and using that video for your attract stage. That's going to be my, this video, right? Then what I did, I created a custom audience out of all the people who who watched at least three seconds, right? So f I have I have this audience already. Now I have Facebook has already created this audience. Now it's below 1,000 because I just used that video one day back. But your audience will be definitely much higher. So then, when you are about to create your second ad set for your lead generation, you are going to use this audience, correct? Then what you do is you click on create custom audience, you hit custom audience, you hit engagement, click on video, uh, and then what you can do is you can choose people who viewed at least 10 seconds of your video. And then you choose your second stage video, or else you can, what you can do is you can use a lookalike audience, and you can then target them in the closing stage. So basically you are sequencing, you are using your first video, you're creating a custom audience of all the people engaged with that video. Then you finally use a third stage video where they are based on the engagement in the convert stage. And then finally you show them the close stage where you are asking people to buy a product. So that's how you can sequence your ad and ensure that you only target people who are interacting with your content and you're warming them up and you're converting them into customer. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thank you.